All right, guys, let's review dividend portfolio B and C. Right now, dividend portfolio B is up 14%. We're going to go over some stocks, guys. We can take a look at, um, at the portfolio. Cisco Systems up 43%. Um, right now, it's actually up $11. I don't know if that 43% is accurate, but it is the number one position in my portfolio thus far. Um, I, see, I see my average cost is $42, and right now, the price is sitting at $52. Let's take a look if it paid a dividend. It sure did, $0.40. Cents. So Cisco Systems. Systems, pretty good company. I like them a lot. That's why I put them in the portfolio. Texas Instruments were up 17%. Really good stock that's been spiking up here. Let's take a look at when I bought Texas Instruments. 40, no, excuse me, $94. Average share price, $94. And right now the price is at $109. So Texas Instruments has done very well these past couple of months. Earned dividends, $0.42. Cents. Pretty good to see there. Waste management up 16%, pretty good stock. PPL Corporation up 16%. Starbucks up 14%. Let's take a look at Starbucks right quick. See when I bought Starbucks. Average share price was 63. Price right now is at 71. So 14%, really good to see there. Uh, earned dividends 29 cents, so not bad there. I'll take it. Let's take a look. Continue, excuse me, continuing in the portfolio. Intel up 29%. Again, guys, I don't think that's really accurate, but Intel has been spiking up. Pretty good stock. Pub, uh, public storage of 13%. Lockheed Martin, sort of Lock Lockheed Martin was the number one position in the portfolio um, last couple of weeks, and now it's sort of, it has trended back. Average share price, 262 Right now, the price is at 294 So I believe they did pay a dividend. Yes, they did. 90, uh, excuse me, uh, 43 cents. So. It's a pretty good stock, but uh, a lot of the um, aerospace stocks have been trending back because of Boeing. Um, we didn't know about the crash, um, the planes and the um, the 737s, I think they crashed or something like that. And a lot of the aerospace and defense stocks have been going down. So um, Colgate up 12% on Colgate, pretty good stock. Um, a lot of good stocks in this portfolio. Pepsi up 11%. Um, I was looking at Pepsi the other day. It was doing really well. Um, average share price 108, and I think I was look. I saw the price at 120. Yeah, so 120, um, 120 dollars and 72 cents. It's pretty good to see there, up 11 percent, and they did pay a dividend, 43 cents. So most of the portfolios have been paying dividends, which is good to see. Telus Corporation up 11 percent. Home Depot up 10 percent. Phillips 66 up 10 percent. 10 percent. Excuse me. Uh, Bank of America up 8 percent. Um, let's take a look at. Bank of America. This was a top three position in a portfolio a couple of weeks back. It's sort of trended back here. Have a share price 24. Price right now is sitting at 27.01. Take a look at if they paid a dividend. Yes, they did. Uh, 31 cents. So pretty good to see. Duke Energy up 8%. Johnson & Johnson up 7%. Royal Dutch Shell up 5%. Take a look at them. I think I bought this at sixty. Yeah, so average share price sixty dollars. Right now, our price is at sixty four dollars. Um, let's take a look at the dividend. So they have not paid a dividend yet. It's one probably one of the only stocks that have not paid a dividend yet, which is really surprising. But expect them to pay a dividend really soon. Caterpillar up two percent, uh, and Pfizer down one percent. So oh, and Walgreens Boots Alliance also down seven percent. Um, let's take a look at Walgreens. Uh, I actually bought some of this in my Robinhood portfolio. Sixty average share price sixty eight dollars. So did kind of buy them high, but um, I'll just really just sit on Walgreens and let the dividends work for me. Um, right now, pretty good. But portfolio still up seventy eight dollars, uh, closer to fifteen percent. Cash balance dividends are starting to compound just a little bit. I have been uh, taking those some of the dividends and putting them back into my um, checkings and savings account. So. Um, pretty good to see their cash balance 125 and let's take quickly take a look at the complete stats earned dividends were up to eight dollars right now and looks like the market gained um, sixty nine dollars and ninety nine cents so uh, pretty good uh, portfolio this portfolio is uh, well the theme behind the portfolio was just something that closely mimics the Roth IRA um, the Roth IRA has a much higher dividend yield um, the complete for the complete portfolio has a much higher dividend yield than this portfolio, but this portfolio is closely mimics the Roth IRA with their high dividends. And, you know, I think with waste management, Starbucks, Intel, public storage has a pretty good dividend. All these stocks have great dividends. So um, you watch the dividend portfolio B, that's it, guys. Um, total gain, $78.74 for a 14 percentage um, return. So 
Now, I want to quickly talk about Dividend Portfolio C. Uh, once again, guys, Dividend Portfolio D has been liquidated. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm thinking um, I put in a request to close Dividend Portfolio D, but, um, you know, I don't know what I'm going to really do with it. Um, all the stocks in the portfolio are gone. But let's quickly talk about Dividend Portfolio C and see what it's been doing. Up $105. So, Dividend Portfolio C, the, the theme behind Dividend Portfolio C is it has a little bit more growth. And we can already see that it's up 10%. So the number one stock in the portfolio seems to be Apple, really trending up here, 26% for a $13 gain. Uh, Scott's Miracle Growth starting to trend back a little bit, 16%. United Technologies up 15%. Microsoft doing very well, 13%. Abbott Laboratories up 12%. Casilda Edison up 13%. Dexera Energy up 12%. Valero Energy up 12%. A.O. Smith up 11%. Comcast up 10%. Procter & Gamble up 11%. Stock is really overvalued right now. Ever share price 92, and the price right now is at 101. But um, pretty good company. I like their stable dividends, and right now they did pay a dividend 40, uh, 40 cents for a product and gamble. Um, American company up 9%. Goldman Sachs really trending back here, up 8%. I remember this was a number one position in my portfolio weeks back. Average share price 75, and right now the price is sitting at 188. So a lot of the banks are not doing very well um, throughout these last couple of weeks. Uh, earned dividends was just 23 cents. So those companies up 8%. New Residential Investment Corporation Trust up 7%. Let's take a look at average share price 15 um, price right now saying at sixteen fifty nine. Still a good time to get into this company. Um, they have not paid a dividend yet. I think they have an ex dividend date coming up, either the twenty seventh or the twenty ninth. I'm not really sure, but I know it's one of those dates. Nike up seven percent. Um, they had an earnings report just recently. I think they did take a dip because uh, North American sales weren't looking very good, but the world um, uh, the world growth for Nike has been very well. It's been very good for Nike. Cardinal Health up four percent. General Motors of 4%, Wells Fargo of 3%, and Conlac Company, I think this is the only position in the portfolio that is currently down right now. They are down 1%. So let's take a look at Kellogg and see what's been, what it has been doing. Average share price 58 and the price now is setting at $56. So um, earned dividends, they'd have to pay a dividend, $0.49. Cents. So um, that's going to be it for the portfolio. You guys can see Dividend Portfolio C has just a little bit more growth. Companies like Microsoft, Apple, United Technologies, um, Nexar Energy, that's a good grower. Um, American Company, a pretty good grower there. Um, Nike's pretty good growth. Uh, cash balance, $2.35. So we can see some dividends are starting to compound just a little bit. Uh, I might let this drip back into the portfolio. I can either let it drip back into the portfolio or put it back into my savings and checkings account. Let's take a look at earned dividends. Right now we're sitting at $6. So um, dividend portfolio B has much higher dividends, but that's very expected because they have a much higher dividend yield. The portfolio in, in its entirety has um, very high dividends, but uh, dividend portfolio C still doing very well, has a little bit more growth, and it's up 10%. So um, very good to see here. You're watching Dividend Portfolio C, and that's going to be it for the video, guys. Let me know what you want. Um, excuse me. Let me know what you guys think. You, you can comment, rate, whatever, and I guess I'll see you guys next time.